Hi, and welcome to this overview presentation of Business Portal for Dynamics GP, highlighting what it can do for you and your organisation. Throughout this demonstration, we will be running through some of the features and functionality available out of the box with Business Portal. What we have displayed here is the Business Portal homepage. It is available to provide links and other information relevant to your organisation. As Business Portal is SharePoint, it can be used as a central shared location of information. There are a number of centres available, tailored by role, such as the Executive Centre, which we will have a look at now. From the Executive Centre page, there are many links to dashboards available. First, we will go and have a look at the Financials Dashboard. There are a number of charts and KPIs available out of the box for displaying via the Business Portal. The Financials Dashboard displayed here shows a sample of these KPIs. If we move to the Sales Dashboard, we can see a number of the charts on display. All the KPIs and charts shown are available as standard with Dynamics GP and the Business Portal. These particular pages and dashboards can be configured to display the charts and KPIs that will be most relevant to your organisation. Moving on to the Purchasing Centre, one of the Functional Centre pages, we can view detailed information directly from Dynamics GP, such as purchase orders by creditor. By simply selecting a creditor, a list of their purchase orders is automatically displayed, including the current purchase order status. The default display can be further restricted by entering search criteria. I am looking for the status of the purchase order containing the numbers 999 in this scenario. From my query, the returned results show just the purchase order containing the numbers 999 and I can easily see that this purchase order has been received. Business Portal can also be tailored to suit using the security roles that are available. This screen shows the limited access for a specific employee user whose areas of interest predominantly revolve around sales and projects. For example, let's say that this user has a query about one of their customers. Their first point of call is the customer summary. From the customer summary, it is relatively easy to identify that this customer has a rather large balance in the last ageing period. From this window, we can also obtain information such as the customer contact details, addresses and phone numbers. Invoices outstanding can be viewed in the Documents by Customer display, along with any details particularly relating to that invoice, including the outstanding document amount. Previous customer payments can also be displayed. However, this particular user is after a little more detail and is going to run a query instead. Queries are available for all of the functional areas within Business Portal. In this particular circumstance, we're having a look at a previously defined user query under My Queries called Receivables Documents. Once the query is selected, Click Find to allow for selection criteria to be applied to the information that is being displayed. In this scenario, we are going to restrict by customer ID, as we are after information specifically for Aaron Fitz. Prior to entering the restriction, please note that the query is currently displaying 1,000 of 1,380 rows. Once the selection restriction is applied, only 107 rows are displayed. This information can be copied to Excel or saved as a query for future use. Once the query is saved, we can check or edit the query using the Modify Query option. You will note that the customer ID has automatically been restricted to the selection that was saved. We will now have a quick look at some of the applications for Business Portal. Business Portal is not only a source of information, it can also be an entry point for information.
First, we will have a look at purchase requests. Requisition management for Business Portal allows for the entry and approval of purchase order requisitions. Requisitions are created on a line item basis and approval can be directed via an approval hierarchy prior to the purchase order being created in Dynamics GP. This particular requisition is currently awaiting final approval, as we can see from the purchase request approval history. Once final approval has been received, a purchase order is subsequently created in Dynamics GP. We will now have a quick look at the transactions available for use with Project Accounting. Timesheets can be entered and approved via the Business Portal prior to their processing through to Dynamics GP. Timesheets can be recorded, saved and modified prior to the point that they are approved. Once a timesheet has been completed, it can then be submitted for approval. You will note that the timesheet status has now updated to submitted, so let's go and have a look at the approver view. The project document approver has an additional menu item specifically for project document approval as you can see on the left hand side. The project document approval page shows the timesheet that was just submitted being available for approval. From here, the timesheet can be reviewed, terminated, returned or approved. Once the timesheet is reviewed and approved, it is processed through to Dynamics GP. Once processed, the timesheet no longer appears on the manager's approval list. Navigating back to the home page, the last item we are going to preview in this presentation is the Reports Centre. The Reports Centre page in this scenario is configured to display the many Excel and SRS reports available with Dynamics GP out of the box. First we will have a look at the Excel reports using a Sales Excel report as an example. From the list of reports available we are going to have a look at the customer's current balances. We have the option of opening a read-only or an editable version. We want to be able to refresh the report data, so the option to edit is chosen. When launched, Excel is automatically opened and the customer balances report is displayed. What we can also do from here is click on the data menu and refresh the balances as required directly from GP without having to go back and download the report again. We will now go and have a look at some of the SQL Reporting Services reports available, or SRS reports as they're commonly referred to. In keeping with the same theme, we are going to be looking at one of the sales reports in our example. We are interested in the age trial balance detail, specifically for our Fitz. Once selected, then the parameters for the report can be entered. Note that the detail is currently set to no, therefore a summary report will be displayed. Changing the detail option to yes and applying the change resets the report and displays the detail. We will now navigate back to the Business Portal homepage again to wrap up this demonstration. Business Portal, as we have seen, is a useful tool for extending access to information held within Dynamics GP. It can be used to show summary information, such as KPIs and charts, to give a snapshot view of how the organisation is performing at any given time. It can provide non-financial users access to financial information without needing to go through the Finance Department or Dynamics GP itself. In conclusion, we have seen that Business Portal can be an inquiry tool, an ad hoc query tool, can have functional transaction capability,
be a report repository and much more. Thank you for your time in watching this demonstration. That concludes our overview demonstration. If you would like to know more about the Business Portal and Dynamics GP, please do not hesitate to contact your Eclipse account manager. Thank you.